So today we're going to show you how you can expand the storage on your Fire TV stick or Cube to allow you to install even more apps. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So one of the downsides to generally Fire TV sticks, with the exception of the Cube and the Fire TV stick 4K Max second generation, is that they've got very, very limited storage. Most of them have only got eight gigabytes and about half of that is taken up by the operating system. So it only really gives you just over four gigabytes of usual usable space. So how do you overcome this? Well, what you're going to need is you're going to need an OTG cable, which is one of these. This is a USB A socket with a micro USB male and female. Have a look in the description of this video. We've got links to them down below. You're also going to need a USB stick or a hard drive. Now, what I would say is don't go too mad on the size of your USB stick or hard drive. Obviously, hard drives don't come in sizes that small, but if you're getting a USB stick then I would say 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte would probably be ample unless you're planning on storing thousands of apps. So what you need to do is once you've got all that equipment you need to make sure that the USB stick that you're going to be using hasn't got anything important on it because this process will wipe everything off the stick. You will lose everything off the stick. So please make sure that you've got a backup copy of anything important on the stick before you proceed and you won't be able to use the stick for anything else apart from this particular fire stick you can't transfer it to another fire stick for instance you can't plug it into a pc it won't be readable so first things first make sure that your fire stick is switched off if it's not then grab your remote control and press and hold the home button on it that's the picture of the house and then go across to sleep once this comes up press the middle button turn it off then what you're going to need to do is unplug your fire stick from the mains and then you're going to plug this end in of your OTG cable. That's the male end in to where you just removed the power supply from. And this end of the cable here, you're going to plug into the female side of the socket. This one just here, like so. And then we're going to wait for the fire stick to power up again and get back to the main menu. And once your fire stick's powered up, then grab your USB stick or USB drive and plug it in to the remaining socket on the OTG cable that you haven't plugged in. Now, if when you plug the stick in, you get this message here, unable to read USB device, then just grab your remote control and then press the left hand side of the ring on the remote once to highlight device storage and then press the middle button on the remote control. Then you'll get this, are you sure? Press the left hand ring on the remote control to highlight yes and then press the middle button on the remote again. Now, if you don't get any message come up on the screen when plugging in the USB stick, then go down and across to settings and then down again and across to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go down to USB drive, middle button, and then go down to format to internal storage, middle button. Now, whichever method you chose, this bit might take a bit of time. Don't turn off your Fire TV stick. Don't unplug the USB stick. If you do that, you could corrupt your Fire stick or your USB stick. It could take a good few minutes to format the stick, depending on how large the, uh, the stick or the drive is, depends on how much time it could take. It could take up to an hour. So just walk away from it, leave it. And when this message disappears, it's done. Now you might find on some USB sticks and some hard drives like mine, you've got a little light on it. So that's an indication that the stick is actually doing something or the drive's actually doing something. Doesn't, doesn't have it on all sticks or all hard drives. So you might well find that you've got no indication there that it's doing anything. OK, so I've got a message coming up now saying format and complete your USB drive is ready to use, but it's come back unable to read USB drive device. So I'm going to go back and format it to external storage. OK, so I'm going to select external storage and then I'm going to select yes. 
and I'm going to let it format to external storage now. You don't need to do this if you didn't get that unable to read message come back again. Again, leave this, let it do what it's got to do and wait for this message to disappear. Then once that message has disappeared, what I would suggest doing is, is go across again to the settings cog and then go down and across to my Fire TV, go down to USB drive and make sure that eject USB drive is highlighted and then press the middle button on the remote control. And then once you see that, that message in the bottom right hand corner of your screen saying you can safely eject then just pull the drive out okay and that leave it for a couple of seconds and then plug it back in okay and then hopefully after a few seconds you should get a message saying that it's connected and there you go, USB drive should appear. Now, what you want to do is with USB drive highlighted, middle button on the remote control, go down to format to internal storage, middle button again, and let it format. Like I say, this sometimes happens. This can sometimes happen if you're not using the official Amazon power adapter that came with your Fire TV stick or Cube. So again, let this do what it needs to do. Another reason this can happen is, is because it might be that your USB stick or hard drive may well be failing. So if it keeps happening, then try switching to another USB stick or hard drive. If it's still failing, then it could be that your OTG cable's faulty, so swap that out. Okay, so I've now got the message formatting complete. Your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use this, this USB drive to transfer data to the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So press the middle button on the remote control, press the back button, and then press the middle button again, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, button and here it's got all of the applications that are stored on the USB drive. Now there's none at the moment because I've just formatted it. So highlight show, middle button, and then just go down to internal only, middle button. And this will show you all of the applications that are installed on your internal memory of the Fire Stick. Now, the way that we transfer these apps is we go down to the app that we want to transfer, highlight it, middle button, and then there should be an option there that says move to USB storage. Now, you're going to find not all apps have got this. In fact, nowadays, very few have. And the reason being is it's because the author of the app, the programmer, has decided that he doesn't want, that they don't want the app to be moved to USB storage because a couple of down falls to having that is the fact the app will run slower, it's more prone to crashing. You can still end up with data being left on the internal memory of the USB stick. If the app is updated, it could be removed from the USB stick and put back to the internal memory. That's a common thing, simply again, because the author, the programmer, has designed the app to be installed on the internal memory. So you might have to go and move it back to uh, the storage after the app has been updated. So anyway, if your app does have here move to USB storage, then it does mean that it's okay to move it to USB storage. So just highlight move to USB storage, middle button on the remote control, and there you go. You get this please wait message. So again, don't, un don't unplug your Fire stick from the mains, don't unplug the USB stick or drive from the OTG cable, let this transfer across. But please do bear in mind, if you do get any problems, if the app runs very, very slowly, then you're going to have to move it back to the internal memory. So there we go. It's now moved to the external storage. And I know that because here it's got, it's, this has actually changed, moved to external storage or USB storage it's now changed to move to internal storage. So that means it's now actually moved. And if I press the back button on the remote control a couple of times and then go back into manage installed applications, as you can see here, I'm showing USB only and there is Explore, which I've just moved and it's got a little USB stick beside it, meaning that it is actually on the external storage. Now, how do you launch an app that you've moved to external storage? just in exactly the same way as you launch an app that's on the internal storage. Just go into your apps, go across to the app, middle button on the remote control, and it will launch. But please bear in mind, it may be slower than what it was on the internal memory. 
And there we are, it, it's then open. But what if we've decided now that we don't want the uh, app to be left on the external storage? What if we want to move it back? Then we just go across to the settings cog, go down to my Fire TV middle button, and then go down to USB drive, go down to manage installed applications, and then find the application on the list there, go into it by pressing the middle button, then go down to move to internal storage middle button, and there you go, that will transfer it back. Again, do not unplug the USB stick or drive and don't power off your Fire TV stick or cube while this is moving. And there we are, once that message has disappeared, it's moved back to the internal storage. And that again is indicated by the move to internal storage is showing move to USB storage on the screen. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend research to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.